How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today. And oh my goodness, it is a big day today in Brawlhalla because we have a new legend for the first time in a while and her name is Fate. Now, if you've been paying attention to my channel the last couple weeks, you probably already know about Fate because I've done some videos showing her off. But here we are, finally, we actually get to play her. So this is the patch notes for the uh, Fate launch. Uh, new legend Fate uses glimpses of the future. The star speaker battles for good with her scythe and orb. So she's a good person? Uh, <laughs> very cool, very cool. So here's all the skins for Fate. We've already looked at these on my channel as well, but actually let me go ahead and jump in the store. So we have Cosmic Fate. She has a very cool orb, especially. Her sight is awesome too, but I love the orb with the, with the ring around the planet and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. I'm gonna buy all the skins and show you guys all of them. But first, let's check this one out too. We got Dark Arts Fate. Very cool, very cool. I like the orb. It'd be cooler if it blinked or something. Like I wish there was more animation in the game besides just the epic skins, but I guess that's what makes those epic skins epic, right Koji? And last but not least. <laughs> Did you see the cat? All right, I'm going to I'm going to lock in this again and watch watch the cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the the way the cat like growls on her hat that makes this skin my favorite one out of all of them. And it costs 200? Apparently BMG also thinks this is the best one. Anyway, so there are the three Fate skins. And we also have low-key thrown in here a, a new orb skin. And if you look closely, that's actually Snowman Core. It has to be because it only has the one eye. And that looks just like Snowman Core, uh, which is a skin for Core. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy that one. I know it's limited only, so I really am I'm gonna buy that one. All right, guys, I have not used Fate. I'm so hyped. Let's go ahead and jump into training just so I can show you guys what her SIGs look like. Um, and then we'll actually jump into some 1v1 matches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use, uh, let's just use Gold Goldforge Fate right now and uh, check out her SIGs. Oh my goodness, so much hype. Actually playing Fate, guys. Okay, 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 we're here, we're here. So let's start out with her Scythe. Scythe neutral sig is gonna look like this with a short press. Just kind of shoots a little spire up like this. As you can see, you can be very close and it still won't hit. You gotta, you gotta be right on them almost. And if you hold it down, it looks like this. Kind of makes like a uh, mushroom cloud up top. Let's see how long you gotta actually hold it. As soon as you see the little star form down at the bottom, it, it can it can make the bigger version. So that's the neutral sig. I like it. It it has a really big hitbox up there. And then side sig looks like this. Comes out fast and hits hard. And if you hold it down, it launches a missile. Again, look for the little star to form at the end of the scythe, and that's how you know it's ready. So that's the neutral sig. Can also do the gravity cancel missile. And for her scythe down sig, looks like this. Oh, ho, ho. you have the, the famous fate teleport. Oops, I didn't do it there. Can also kind of like hold it down and throw them off a little bit. Oh, so cool, so cool, so cool. The neutral sig's kind of useless unless you do the big version. Then it's like awesome. But it definitely takes a while. All right, so those are the sight sigs. Let's go ahead and check out the orb sigs. There we go. All right, orb neutral sig looks like this. That's just a quick press. That's actually a really good move because it comes out so fast and if I hold it down it looks like this basically the same thing but she she <laughs> she moves her hands around on the orb a little bit so it looks like it does not hit if you're standing right on top of them it only hits above you 
down sig is gonna look like this. You go ahead and tie them in a in a star bow. If you hold it down, it looks like this. Basically the same thing. If you hit them, it looks like that. And this one does have active input. So you could throw them up or you could throw them to the side. Let's see if she actually can be thrown backwards. Nope, all right, so either up or sideways. And then the side sig, which everyone is probably waiting for because it looks awesome, looks like this. <laughs> that is such a cool side sig. You just ride the stars, man. Ride that star, it's like Kirby. Comes out really fast. She is going to be fun. All right, now I'm actually gonna try a little bit. I wanna fight a, uh, a hard bot for a minute just to kind of get used to her. Come here, Yumiko. Wow, so that thing grabs really easily, I feel like. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Online. Let's jump into some 1v1 with Fate. And I bet you everybody's gonna be doing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with Cosmic Fate, first of all. I don't have any cool colors with her yet, but I'm just gonna do base colors just to just to see what the base colors are. I, I usually don't do base colors, but I'm only level one with Fate. So I don't really have any cool colors yet anyways. Okay, some weird audio glitch happened and my first match with Fate, like my mic cut out, so, but it was awesome and I ended up winning it. So I won my first match with Fate, but I'm gonna go ahead and replay uh, this Fate with this with this skin because you guys didn't get to see it. Um, she was, <laughs> she's actually really fun. Like, I might main Fate, she is really, really, really fun. Um, I, I gotta see what she's like against more legends because I've only done uh, one match and it was Fate versus Fate. Which I got a feeling probably most of these matches are going to be like that. Okay, going against uh, one of the best players out there right now, Juicy Diaper. Uh, playing a legend I've only played one game of. This should be interesting. Got him, baby. Oh. Oh, well played. He could have either side aired me or done that. So pretty much no matter what I did, I was dead. <laughs> I got him, baby. He went for the fancy kill and it cost him. Oh, beautiful kill. Beautiful. Well played, man. I gotta say, I think I did pretty good. Almost beat one of the best players out there with somebody I haven't even really played. I'm really liking Fate, man. This I feel good about this. I feel good. Let's go ahead and do uh, Dark Arts Fate. Oof, this one should be fun. Man, she is really, really versatile. Like, her six really awesome and it's gonna be even better right now because nobody knows how to how to fight against her all right going against k 
kitchen sink with dark arts fate. Three, two, one, brawl. Ah, keep forgetting to turn the names on. Got him that time, man. I was gonna say I should have done the active input um, to, to hit him off the edge. There we go, baby. We're going for the three stock with fate. <laughs> I love the Kirby air ride move. Ouch. Oh my! Almost had that three stuck, but that ground pound was nice. I would love to kill with that down sig. GG dude, GG. Fate is so good. She's so good, guys. Oh yeah, level two fate, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And last but not least, my probable favorite fate skin, Feline Fate. After this game, I'm probably gonna do another fate game, but like mix up her weapons and stuff because I got a ton of scythes and orbs that I can be using. All right, going against you play. I'm assuming the you play. Didn't know he wasn't in a clan anymore, but you play is a very, very, very good person. Very, I mean, very skilled uh, player. So I'm probably gonna lose. As you can probably already tell. Ah, oh, beautiful off the wall kill. You play.
Her side sig is really strong for how fast it is too. No, get off of my stage you play. Ain't gonna do me like that. Ooh. Ah, oh, so good with that. I love Fate Man. I love that side sig on the on the site too. Oh. oh, I hit him anyways, but GG, dude. Oh my gosh. Like I said, you play is extremely good player. Oh man, so there you guys have it. You have fate. I'm gonna actually do one thing here. I'm gonna change, go back, go back, go back. I'm gonna change, I, I usually have that like that. I'm gonna play one more game uh, with fate, except I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do, let's do Cosmic Fate. I really like that, how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do brown. It actually looks cool with the red. I'm gonna give her a, uh, ooh, let's give her the Prenumbral Crescent, the Moon Scythe that kind of goes with her. And of course, I wanna use the Snow Globe because I haven't gotten to use it yet. Of course, now it's like a brown Snow Globe, but whatever. Going against Ludiverse. <laughs> That's kind of a cool name. Three, two, one, brawl. All right, here we go, guys. Last game with fate. Man, I really want to get a kill with the down sig. Goodbye. Gonna wrap you up and send you away. Oh, I saw that coming and I thought I was to the side of it, but it did not happen the way I thought it would. Bam! Got him with the ground pound, man. I really like the neutral sig.
Oh my, that actually killed me. <laughs> nice play, nice play. That was good, Luniverse. Wow, he killed himself there. One of the things that I learned uh, when I was trying to get to platinum for the first time ever in ranked, and it was actually really hard for me because I kept doing what he just did there, and that's kill myself. I, I kept doing it on accident, and the biggest thing is you can't beat yourself uh, in a game. I'm not like criticizing him because, like I said, I used to do that all the time, and I still do uh, on occasion accidentally uh, uh, end my own stock. But that's a really big thing you need to stop doing if you want to get platinum or even gold. Uh, it helps. Anyways, wow. Fate, man. I'm just going to be sitting here playing Fate all day because she is so fun. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Fate. I know I've been doing a few Fate videos already, but now that you guys have actually gotten to play Fate, what do you think? Um, personally, I don't know if I'm like too hyped, but honestly, she's like probably my favorite uh, Scythe and Orb Legend. Like, favorite orb legend out of these two, definitely. And out of Scythe, she's definitely one of the best, I think. Orb and Scythe is a fantastic combo. Uh, she has decent stats. Her sigs are really fun and versatile. Most of them are pretty quick to get out. And she has some really good kill options with her sigs. So, very nice. Very well done, BMG. I think she's great, definitely. Um, do I think she's, like, the best legend out there ever? Probably not. Um... But she's definitely probably in the top 10 legends, like, automatically, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and drop a like. As always, be sure to subscribe for more Brahalla content if you aren't already. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.